All right, you ready to rock out? Yep. Okay, so the objective of uh, today's podcast is um, to do an IB or an intelligence brief on voting. Okay, so um, how are we going to do this? It, it, it's going to be a new way of doing something because uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run a, a script, mm -hmm. a template, or an application. Right, so there's going to be what I like to call an application, which I call a P, and it's an acronym for Personal Experience Application. Right, so there it is, P E A, Personal Experience Application, and um, the purpose of doing this is to give myself, yourself, or whomever, anybody. Right, um, it's a tool. It's a tool. It's essentially just a tool for um, an individual to be able to run in the back of their mind, in the top of their head, on a note card, or whatever, right? So if they have to enhance their personal experience or own it, they can always run this script. It's like a strategy? Mm, yes, you can call it a strategy, right? There's all sorts of different terms what you can use to call it, you okay. know, a strategy, uh, give me other things, a protocol, uh, a template, like um, uh, a plan, Right. There's all of these different terms that you can use to describe this mm -hmm. thing, but it essentially drills down to four basic concepts. All right. All right. How do you feel about it? I feel good about it. <laughs> okay. Since we haven't <laughs> even really talked about it, but um, obviously this has a lot to do with the election season that we're going through right now. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm a bit uh, intrigued. <laughs> intrigued uh, by this by this whole cycle because uh, I am an anarchist proper, um, which means that I think or I believe that I am the master or I rule myself. I don't feel that other people should be ruling over me, that I should have equal right to anything that it is that I want, right? And mm -hmm. I don't I don't allow or wish to allow other people to dictate to me how I should treat my body. Or live my life mm -hmm. right as long as I'm not causing harm to anybody else that's my personal philosophy um, what's yours <laughs> whoa put yeah. me on this spot loaded question yeah wow well that's evolving mm. especially after learning more about even tonight listening to Green Party independent or no it was the um libertarian mm -hmm. um there's not just a dichotomy of ideas out there and i think what i liked about what they were saying is you don't have to choose the lesser of two evils because that's what everyone says oh who am i going to choose hillary or trump they're both awful but that's not that's not the only option out there and so if you start reading and learning more about what other ideas are out there what other people are saying um you can start formulating your own personal uh politics better because you're not uh confined mm, yeah uh to this dichotomy yeah 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 so politics <laughs> right politics 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 it's ah politics are tricky yeah it's something that i i i i, I completely despise it and i despise <laughs> it because we have a political class right right i i don't really appreciate the political class. You know, the, the group of people that that feel um, like that they should be the ones to tell everybody else how to live their life, right? This, I, I, I just have a deep down gutter reaction to anybody <laughs> that says that they can tell somebody else how to live their life it's paternalistic yeah whether right. it's in politics proper or mm -hmm. politics of our everyday life like healthcare. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah like healthcare, right yeah anybody For else example. that is trying to basically anybody else who tells anyone else that yo this is how you should be living your life instead of giving you mm -hmm. facts and helping you come to your own conclusion and your own decision making instead of just saying this is how you do it i know better yes and that is a perfect segue into p, p. <laughs> personal experience application right so it's an application because this is a set of instructions right right it's a core set of instructions that you can run at any time any time any place if you want to enhance your experience right your personal experience yeah so um we're going to run this. We're going to run this application 
right now, eh, pseudo real time, okay. um, on voting, right? Okay. Because voting, obviously, in the world that we live in today, it's important. I mean, you can't get away. You can't get away from it. You either vote with your dollar, right? You vote with your feet, right? <laughs> Or you vote on a ballot. Mm -hmm. at, at any rate, you know what you're doing is you're casting a vote, mm -hmm. and um, uh, the term "vote" is actually quite fun, you know, because uh, of course we always got to go back to the root, right? <laughs> <laughs> and the root of the term "vote" is wish. Oh. Yeah. Right. So whenever you <laughs> you you're voting, you're making a wish. <laughs> Right. True. Yeah, you're basically making a wish, and you're you're saying I wish, or you pledge, or you commit to some specific concept, right? And that concept could be a person, mm -hmm. right? Or it could be another concept, right? You know, some idea, a proposition, or or anything like that. And um, these are these are very very important because these these concepts, which means propositions, mm -hmm. or the individual, the people, they affect the way that we live. And we have a toolkit that allows us to um, basically um, put the people that we want to represent us, not to rule over us, but to represent us as individuals in some form of office, you know, to, to do what it is that the people mandate. Yeah. Um, and it's sort of kind of very hard to do that because there's so much information. There's a shitload of information out there. And this is when we get into the script, you know, the, or not the script, but the application, the P application. Yeah. Or how do you make sense mm -hmm. of it all? Yeah. So it's basically four rules, okay. right? These are the four rules that you always have to run whenever you are enhancing your own experience, right? Hence personal experience application, right? So if you're going out for a party, right? If you're going on a date, if you're, if you're going to work, Right. If you're going wherever to school, it doesn't matter any type of environment that you're going into. <laughs> this is the application that you should be running. And now I sound like a politician because I'm telling you ah. <laughs> what you should do. Right. But this is base. This is just base base human activity. Right. Ready for it? Ready. OK, here it is. So here are the four here are the four um, guidelines for P personal application, okay. personal experience application. <laughs> First one, take control. Second one, get the facts. Third one, organize the facts. Fourth one, make a decision from the facts you organize. That's it. It's that simple. Yeah, <laughs> that is it. And if you keep running that, whoop, 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 and, you know, in a cycle, yeah, you can really enhance your own experiences. You probably get better as you practice. You become second nature at how to assess situations and how to prepare for them. Yeah, muscle memory. We all know about muscle memory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll work. All right, so um, uh, let's go through real time. Okay. Uh, how we could run um, this personal experience. Of voting. Yeah, in voting, because we obviously know what voting is, right? So we've gotten the facts about voting, right? So when you vote, you're making a wish. So you're casting mm -hmm. a wish. So if you could wish, <laughs> if I, I can make a wish, I would, like a, I would like to make a wish or I would like to commit or I would like to um, uh, um, pledge, um, <laughs> pledge to something or someone, right? How am I going to do this? How, how, how am I going to actually do this? Because I need some information, right? Mm hmm and we can do that because we have the internet right now, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. first first one, right, is that uh, you got to take control of mm -hmm. it, right? So you got to own it. I don't know how you take control of things. Um, how do you, like... How do I personally, yeah. or how, how do does... you personally, like, take control of, you know, situations in your life? I think it starts with a conscious decision saying, hey, there's something... I don't like what's going on about X, Y, and Z. Mm it's up to me to change that because this is about me. Okay. Right? So it's, it starts with a maybe introspective conversation with myself about, well, I'm unhappy about this. Why? What's the situation? What do I want to change? It's my responsibility to do so. So that consciousness, a conscious decision of saying, okay, this is on me. This is not anyone else's fault. This is, this is something I have to deal with. All That's right. where it starts. 
So that's how you take control, mm-hmm. is that you own it? Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. So I guess we can both agree on that. So when we take control of things, we own it. Yeah. Right? So now we're going to own voting. Yeah. Right? We're going to own what is it that we need to vote. And since we both live in California and we're crushing it in California, um, this is one of the places that you can go. So this is one of my sources for facts for voting. And I'll go to two spots, but right now I'll just talk about one. And it's a website, calvoter.org. Hmm. Right? Calvoter.org. Basically, this they have a mission statement of they just want to advance the responsible use of technology to improve the democratic process. Yeah. It's a website. And it has all the information <laughs> that you're going to need to know to make informed decisions about voting. Mm-hmm. Right. So you're going to have something on uh, the candidates. Mm-hmm. You're going to have something on the propositions. Right. right. These are the two areas that you need. Right. The candidates and the propositions, because those are going to affect our lives, right? everybody's life. Right. And we have to get out there and we have to make our wishes heard. <laughs> right. I mean, you you can't complain about something and not take responsibility for it at the same time. Yeah. When you have the right to vote. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you know, we all can make a wish, <laughs> right? I think there's even a foundation on that, <laughs> but I think that's something different. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. Uh, so, so then, um, uh, we, we, we went through and we checked out. So obviously we watched the, the debate last night. Right. Epic. But that debate was between a Democrat and a Republican. I don't know if there was actual as much facts and information as there was just a lot of character uh, uh, observation. Yeah. Which is still information. Yeah. If you think about it. Yeah, 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 it is. But um, the difference between um, the world of 15, 10, 20 years ago, whatever mm-hmm. you choose the time period, right, is that we only had a few sources of information and media, right? Um, which we sort of kind of still are affected by that world, mm-hmm. right? So we immediately turn to um, um, major cable networks sure. or major um, broadcasting sure. networks to watch a, a debate, right. which is controlled by another small group <laughs> who only allows two candidates um, or two parties to run, right? Hence the two-party system yeah. and the monopoly. That's the second tier of being informed is where is my where are my facts coming from? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What are your sources? Right. Right. So if you only have two sources that you're hearing, mm-hmm. a Democrat and a Republican, mm-hmm. then you pretty much you know what their parties are, are standing about and you know what it is that they have to offer and bring. Right. Um, but there's also other candidates out there. And then most people aren't really able to hear their voices. And they have some interesting uh, perspectives. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, 10, 15 years ago, people weren't going on the internet, going to different sources, hearing people blog. Um, now I think they may gain momentum. It might not be in this election, but I think at every election, you're going to have more and more momentum for the uh, non. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, for for the other parties rather. Right, right. I totally agree with you because um, yeah, I would probably say that we're watching the death, the death of maybe the two party system right now. And if people can get, um, uh, if they can level up <laughs> after this cycle, because obviously we know Hillary Clinton's going to win, because it, it's already been, it's already been, um, it's already been told to us you know <laughs> by all the leaks and everything like that that's going on that she's going to be the next president of the united states of it looks America. that way right you know and it's because it doesn't matter um who's running be it a libertarian be it a green party be it a right now a republican mm-hmm. or uh what was the other one the peace and freedom party mm-hmm. right you know so you have these different parties out there that are running and they have they, they have very valid points but it seems like um, the way that the media is functioning right now is that um, they're they're endorsing Hillary Clinton, mm-hmm. right? And it's like, okay, that's cool. But the interesting thing is, is because one has gathered the facts, right? Because this is the second, you know, the second rule um, 
in P, <laughs> right, of enhancing your experience is that you get the facts, right? right? So now you have all the facts, right? You know who the candidates are and you know what it is that they're talking about. Um, and now you have to organize these facts. How do they sit with your own? That's how you organize them, mm, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even just watching this, when someone makes a point, you're like, get them, yeah. <laughs> right? Like, yes, <laughs> totally resonate with that. Uh-huh. You know, or last night hearing, you know, the candidates talk and, and just being like, oh, my God, this is such a shit show right now. It's mm. it's entertaining, but, yeah. oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah I just, you, you'd be in jail, <laughs> right? You know, you heard that. You'd be in jail or women. <laughs> Right, you know, you you only heard a few a, a few talking points, right? Mm-hmm. But we watched two on YouTube today, mm-hmm. and they actually had solutions. More solutions than I've heard in any of mm. the the debates with Hillary and Trump combined. Yeah, and they weren't. It wasn't about making other people look bad. Even when they talked about Hillary and Trump. Mostly it was not derogatory. It was just saying, I, I really don't want them to be president. Yeah, yeah. They were just like, I just don't agree with her. I don't agree. But yeah. there was no mudslinging. There was there was nothing to make them appear catty. or, or All they cared about was the politics at hand and, and solving problems. Yeah. Which is refreshing. Yeah. Human <laughs> problems. Gotta love it. Right? So, um, yeah. So, that's uh, third stage. Right? Was the third stage? Right, take control. Well, it's, yeah. Uh, get the facts. Get no, because now we have to organize the facts. Organize. Know right? where you're going. Know what you want the goal to look like. Know what you want the solution to look like. Yeah, yeah. If, because you have to look at it as if you were the one that was running it. Sure. Right. If I was president, what would I want? Or if I was, you know, whatever. Right. Whatever you know. question you're asking. What do I want the solution to look like? What is the goal? Yeah. Yeah, so... After you do that, you got one more thing to do. Action. Yeah. You just have to decide. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, you make a decision based off of the facts that you organized. Right. You know, so four things. And the fact and the decision you came to on your own because you followed this process, not because someone told you to, not wow. because you, you were manipulated by yes. someone else's media media yes it's i came to this conclusion on my own because i sat down and thought about what's mm-hmm. really true to me mm-hmm. and yes and oh i forgot one thing mm-hmm. because whenever you're dealing with politics there's um another component that you should always try to understand mm-hmm. and you got to follow the money right you always got to follow the money in any type of I guess you can even say it any type of business transaction, Mm -hmm. right? You know, because if somebody's doing something and Mm -hmm. then obviously they've been funded by someone or something, right? Then you need to see where those sources are, right? Because those sources, they could have um, conflicting interests, Mm -hmm. you know, into what it is that you might think is Mm -hmm. better, right? You know, let's just say uh, um, a a big um, uh, military industrial complex organization is heavily backing Hillary Clinton, Mm -hmm. right? And, you know, they're like, yeah, well, we like Hillary. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's cool, but Mm -hmm. wait a minute. Aren't you a big Mm -hmm. business for a military? (laughs) And military only has one purpose. They like to fight, right? And Mm -hmm. if they like to fight, then that means we have to start fights. And if we start fights, then that means that your business is going to be able to function, right? <laughs> and then you just get in a cycle, Your right? business is war. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically. So, yeah. You're in the business of conflict, right? Mm, yeah. You know, um, so now we're going to go mm-hmm. ahead and, and ramp it up, right? So then that means that the person that you're investing in mm-hmm. could probably help you out. You know, just like I'm looking for somebody to help me out. Mm-hmm. You know, could mm-hmm. this person help me out if I make a wish on them? <laughs> It's just called Voting Make a Wish Foundation. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, uh, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. So always, you always want to follow the money. That's true. There are a lot of propositions that have a, uh, like their headline is, is something that is kind of a no brainer. Like you want your kids to, to be safe in schools or something. But if you look lines down, who's funding this? And there's a lot of special interest groups that kind of slip in other topics or, or, or other agendas. Yeah. Um, underneath that guise of oh of course i want we want our children safe it's 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 
kind of sneaks in there. Mm -hmm. So you have to be savvy about that. Yeah. So yeah, this is a this is a pretty quick and dirty yeah. intelligence brief. That's a brief, right? Intelligence <laughs> <laughs> brief. <laughs> brief. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. A couple of glasses of cider, whatever. Right. So you know, the objective was voting, right? Mm -hmm. But the real the real um, hook to this is running the application, yeah. the personal experience application with the four components, taking control, right? Get the facts, mm -hmm. organize the facts, and then make a decision based off of the organized facts. Keep running that over and over and over about anything that you are experiencing personally, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, life is going to get somewhat Pretty easier. Pretty simple, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Do you have anything else to add? I think it's a good strategy. Do you want to? Do you want to say what was kind of the inspiration for it? The inspiration for it? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have to cite the sources on this. <laughs> yeah. So this was all inspired by um, um, Emerson's. Uh, Ralph Waldo yeah, Emerson. Ralph Waldo Emerson's. Emerson. Yeah. <laughs> Emerson's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ralph Waldo Emerson. His um, his essay on, on self reliance. Self -reliance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's where it came from, right? So, if you were at, ever to go down the rabbit hole, you're gonna see that self reliance and personal experience essentially mean the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, it, it just means the same thing. And then I just remix and maximize it, right? Because, mm -hmm. I don't know, that's, that's what, what I do. That's what you do. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, um, yeah, the sources have been cited. I think it's an exciting tool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so um, this might be, uh, um, I don't know, I don't know. There, there just might be uh, uh, a P. A personal experience um, application run on like different topics. Yeah. Right? Because you can just ram through them, ram, remix and maximize. Right? That's but a you good, can, now yeah. you're verbing it. Yeah, That's awesome. Know. <laughs> yeah. So you can just um, ram through uh, mm -hmm. um, these super quick and uh, collectively you can fix a lot of problems. Yeah. Right? But as long as you do it at the individual level, right, you can start making this world pretty fucking awesome. Yep. Yeah, even though it already is. But you can make it better. Uh, I don't know. You got anything else to add? That's it. That's it? That's it. All right. Cool, cool. Well, uh, yeah, if you tuned in, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> if you didn't tune in, whatever. Catch you next time. All right. Practice your pee. <laughs>